Good morning. It's Saturday, February 24th, 2024. It is cold this morning. I had 17 degrees when I got up. It is bright and sunny and it is going to warm up some. Still looking pretty dry for the future, so we could use some moisture. Rain and snow would be acceptable. Ice is not allowed and not wanted. Reminder of worship services tomorrow, 8.30 at first, 10.30 at St. Paul's. St. Paul's services will be live streamed and Sunday school for the congregations will be at 9.30 at both churches. Um, a reminder, Burnell Larson has recently been in hospital. I understand that he's home and we ask that you continue to pray for Burnell in June that they continue to recover. I think those are the announcements I want to touch on today. Today is the feast day of St. Matthias. Um, you may not know much of him because we don't know much of him. Uh, the only place that he's recorded is in the book of Acts, where he is chosen to replace Judas Iscariot as one of the apostles. Uh, he was chosen by Lot, that is, they cast dice between him and another person, and Matthias won. I kind of regard him as a patron saint of pastors who never make any kind of national or public uh, prominence in any way, shape, or form, who do their work silently and mostly unknown. But that's not what I want to talk about today. I'm going to be selfish today and talk about family. Tomorrow, the 25th of February, is the 35th anniversary of the death of my brother Doug. Doug died of idiopathic interstitial pulmonary fibrosis, um, a lung disease that gradually destroys your lungs. Same disease that my brother Mark had and was lucky enough to receive a lung transplant 15 years ago. Uh, when Doug died in 1989, that wasn't a possibility. And then yesterday was the 30th anniversary of the death of Jackie's dad, Elmer Olson. And so Jackie and I have always kind of regarded February since those dates as kind of a sad and dreary month. Uh, not a whole lot to be happy about. Until February 24th. On that day, our granddaughter Annie was born. We always regard her as God's gift to us for the month of February to remind us that even in the midst of our sorrows, we can find joy. And Annie has been our joy. Annie is a senior at Starmont High School this year. She's going to go on to Wartburg College in Waverly to study music and become a music instructor. And I hope and pray that she's successful in that. Annie has been uh, a leadership and training person at Iwalu for many years, and this coming summer she'll be a counselor at Iwalu Bible Camp there at Strawberry Point, and we're proud of that too. Annie is a remarkable young woman. She's busy in all kinds of things at school and at work, and mostly Nana and I give thanks for God's little gift of our bright sunshine, our star in February. It reminds us that even in the midst of our sorrows and losses, we can still find joy. And so bracketed between two losses in our lives, the loss of my brother and the loss of Jackie's dad, we have this joy. We have this joy that God provided in Miss Annie. Thank you, God, for Annie, and thank you, Annie, for being who you are. Happy birthday. Let's pray. <clears throat> Father in heaven, we give you thanks for the lives of those whom we love, we thank you for those who are dressed in you, and we thank you for the gift of children and grandchildren who come to us and give us joy. Help us rejoice in these things, these wonderful gifts of life that you give, and the assurance of life to come. We thank you for hearing us pray today. We ask it all in your name. Amen. And as I reminded you yesterday, I did test positive for COVID again, so that means I'm quarantined for five more days, um, which is probably all right. I don't have a lot of energy still, but it's getting better, and I hope by Thursday of next week I'll be able to actually go back out in public and not be a danger to people. Do keep praying that that clears up, and always remember to pray for those who are sick or in hospital. I won't be putting a video out tomorrow. That's just my practice, and I'll see you again on Monday. And until then, goodbye now.